Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And it is it is 6:19 this morning. I'm getting ready for work and I'm going to be testing out a new foundation for you guys. I'm sure you've heard of it by now. It is the new CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. Now, I'm sure you guys again have heard of this. They came out with something like 40 shades, something ridiculous, which is amazing, ridiculous in a good way. It's amazing that a drugstore brand came up with something that they have so many different shades, such a wide variety, especially because having a good shade range has been in the news lately. It's been a big deal one way or another, especially after some previous brands did not have some good shade ranges. Revlon just came out with a new foundation that I will also be reviewing for you guys that is also matte, but only had like 16 shades. So I'm really happy that CoverGirl did finally come up with something, not finally, but really came up with something that had just a true, true range. But at the same time, well, let me tell you, it was hard to pick a shade. There were so many to choose from. I was like, oh God, there's so many. I, 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 <laughs> I'm already bad at that. We all know this. Okay, so while I was waiting for my phone to load to get you some more information about the foundation, I did go ahead and prime my face. And let's see. So, so far, I ordered this on Amazon because it's the only place that had it yet at the time when I ordered it. You did get just a tad over one fluid ounce. It's basically 1.014. And so far, there was a four star. I did get shade L30, which is in the shade Golden Ivory because I've noticed lately my foundations have had almost too much of a pink undertone, so I want a little bit more of a neutral one. And I'm trying to see here. Um, so basically, for features and details, just real, real quick, Naturally matte, flawless appearance with a broad palette of 40 shades. Yep, that match most skin tones, flexible comfort feel, so it's um, so it's light, supposed to be lightweight, so you don't even realize you're wearing foundation. Transfer proof wear that blurs pores and minimizes perfections all day. It doesn't say whether it's going to be full coverage, medium coverage, anything like that. So to get out of here shortly and for the sake of this not being a super long video I'm gonna go ahead shut up and we're gonna get into the makeup so first um, I didn't do this with my last foundation because the applicator itself on the Revlon instant finish was already built in but what I typically like to do is I like to do half of my face in a sponge half of it in a kabuki brush so that is what I'm going to be doing today so I'm gonna start with the right side of my face and I'm gonna be using my equal tools sponge for that it does have a nice pump, which I do like. And I do like also that it locks. You can lock it, which is great for traveling, or you can lock it open or unlock it open. So that is really awesome. Way to go, cover roll, for thinking of that. This might be too dark for me, but that's all right. We'll just conceal the shit out of my face. <laughs> Sorry. So this is what it looks like on my hand, not too runny, but obviously definitely a liquid, but I like the fact that it's not too runny. I hate when they are and they're just like down your face, down your hand, and you're like, oh my God, I don't have time for this. Okay, so actually pretty good shade. Good job, Rachel. Good job. Okay, so so far as I'm blending this out, it does blend nicely, it does blend smoothly, um, it's pretty consistent. I would say it's probably a medium coverage, not super, super full coverage, but it looks nice. It did cover a lot of the pinkness that I have on my cheeks, so this is the side. You guys can see I do get a lot of pinkness, especially when I work out. It gets so super duper flushed so easily. And that's that side where you feel like you have a clean slate, but it does look really nice. It does feel very light. So I will say that that is true right now to me. It feels very light. I do like the spinach with the spinach. Really? I do like the finish with the sponge. It usually when you do a sponge, you do get more of a full coverage. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take a pause here because I like the way this, this is looking. It looks, again, actually a good color match. I think staying away from the overly pink undertones was a good idea. And I'm going to switch to my Kabuki sponge right here. This is just a generic Kabuki sponge that I got on Amazon years ago that I absolutely love. And I'm going to apply that to the other side of my face, my left, your right. 
My favorite way, just so you guys know, to apply foundation is with a sponge because I do like the consistent texture. I don't like when you get sponges that can be like super, or you use brushes and they get super duper streaky or they you sometimes are not as consistent. Plus I like the more full coverage. Um, it does look nice with the with the brush. It is not coming out streaky. It doesn't look inconsistent, but as expected, it's definitely not as full coverage as this. And you can definitely see the difference, especially here in my cheeks. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit more on my brush here and see if I can build it up. Otherwise, I will go back in with my sponge because for the first round, I like the way this side looks better than this side. Okay, so it is buildable, and I'm looking like super up close to my skin, and I'm noticing that the textures really are not that different. Again, just a little bit smoother on the sponge side than it was on the brush side, but you could definitely build it up. So if you like more of a natural look, it actually works really well with the Kabuki brush. Um, and it did blend very nicely either way. It did not leave me looking streaky at all, which I'm super impressed with because I've had struggles with drugstore foundations in the past looking actually a little bit streaky. And even with building it up just that little bit, it still does not feel cakey, doesn't feel heavy on my face. So thank you, CoverGirl, for sticking to what you're saying for that. But I am going to go with just a little bit more around my cheeks and my nose with the sponge because I want a little bit more of a full coverage look. And honestly, it's just my favorite way of applying my makeup. Okay. So, so far, I like the way that this foundation is looking. Again, pretty good color match here. Might be a little bit too dark, but again, you just blend this down my neck a little bit, and then we'll add some concealer. So I'm going to go hop, hop off camera and put the rest of my makeup on just because I do have to jet out here pretty quickly, and this is just a foundation review, not a tutorial or anything like that. And I will let you know how everything blended on top. I also will be doing check-ins throughout the day. My midday one will probably look a little wonky because I'll have to fin it, fill it, film it on my phone. But I still want to just kind of do a midday check-in and then after work and all of that so you can see how it wears throughout the day. Because for somebody like me, it being able to last at least 10 hours is super important. So I want to make sure you guys are pretty much on the same page as me in that respect too. So let me hop off camera and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so my makeup is all on and it's looking pretty good so far. It's a little crusty under here, but that's just my eyes being a little bit of dry no matter how much cream I put on underneath them. Um, but overall, everything blended really nice. The concealer blended really nice on it. It's looking pretty good even around my nose. It's not caking up, which for me somehow it always seems to cake up. So uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. I'm going to go ahead and finish getting ready for work and I will be doing some check-ins in a little bit, so stay tuned. Before I hop off camera, I want to real quickly remind you guys, don't forget to subscribe before you go. And yeah, see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so it is about 1.15 right now and I'm sitting in my car and there's a fire engine going off behind me, so sorry about that, but I'm taking a quick break just to touch base with you guys. So it's been about six hours since I've had this foundation on and I'm a little disappointed in it actually. So I'm sorry, I've got my mirror right above me here, so I'm glancing up, that's why. So right around in my nose here, it's peeling up the top. So it's caking and it's kind of peeling off. It's it's not looking great to be perfectly honest. And it is like all around the bridge of my nose. So it's not just right on top, like even normally here, I don't have issues. Normally I will have issues like around the corners of my nose, or even the tip of it, but not here. And it is, um, even on my forehead, it's kind of peeling off. It's caking up a little bit and it's looking dry and I I know it's a matte foundation and I do have fairly dry skin but I put on a lot of moisturizer and even with other matte foundations I don't have the same issues that I'm having right now so I'm a little bit disappointed that it's only been six hours and it's already not looking great um see if I can zoom you guys in a little bit just so you can see like super close up sorry 
um, but you can see just kind of it doesn't look great it's not looking super great on my skin actually I'm gonna be done with work in about three hours or so but I am doing an exercise class now it is not a cardio I usually do not sweat during this class because it is more of a weight training and it's usually pretty cold in the room so I'm really curious to see how it holds up through that but I am betting it's not gonna go well I will be checking in in a few more hours for you guys testing it out but so far it's probably not gonna be the best foundation if you really want something that's long wearing it looked great in the beginning but right now I'm not like not loving it not loving it okay guys so it is about 6 15 right now in the evening so i've been wearing this foundation for about 12 hours now i have not blotted it yet um but i obviously have worn it all day throughout work <laughs> with the third wardrobe change of this video um i did go to the gym but I was only and it was just weight training it was not cardio so I didn't sweat and it was actually really cold in there and I only did it for about a half hour so so this is what it looks like I wanted you guys to be fairly zoomed in so you can see the foundation is pretty much worn away from my nose completely the sides the top all of it's completely worn away from it just about it is really kind of cakey around my nose with on the outsides of what is left and it just is pretty kind of flaky around my cheek area and my foreheads up here. Now that is kind of my T-zone, so that is where I do get a little bit oily throughout the day because I do have combination skin. But really, I'm just, I don't know. I'm gonna keep trying this foundation. I'm gonna try it again. I'm not gonna give up on it. I'm going to put, maybe put a more of a hydrating primer on rather than my usual um, poreless primer on just to see if that makes a difference but today I'm really not that impressed with it I'd probably see maybe a three of the five because at the beginning it did look really nice but yeah it's still pretty cakey under here it's dry it's flaky it just doesn't look that great um, at this point in time and what's left of it that is so and that's all I have for you guys I just wanted to do a couple check-ins throughout the day but you kind of know where my feelings are so I'm just gonna wrap this up quickly thank you guys so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you didn't give it a thumbs down and let me know what you think in the comment section have you guys had a chance to try this foundation yet if you have let me know where your results similar did you have different results I haven't even looked at reviews there was only one on Amazon where I bought this didn't even look at it yet I wanted to kind of get my own first impressions I think it had like four stars but I don't really know why I didn't again didn't want to go into it so let me know what you guys think if you've tried it if, do you guys see a difference on my face throughout the day just from your perspective versus my perspective always interested in your opinions and what you have to say but yeah again thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe before you go and until I can get more videos out for you guys because I do have a lot of new products I'm still testing for you as always I hope you have a wonderful day Bye.